I don't, I'm just practicing my walk for the beginning of the show. Wait a minute. I don't mean to be rude. Wait a minute, please. All right. You think this is a swagger? No, that's, no, that's more of a, oh man, I'm having a physical problem. <laughs> I thought it was a more, it looked a little bit, you know. Like a march. Yeah, a little, a little bit, yeah. Do you know how, like, the, the evil dictators have always got the weirdest marches? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, like they do, you know, when they've got the really, like, the dictators are always, they march like. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and good guys always march like this. <laughs> That's what I've noticed. I'm a... a yeah, do what, what, what? I like when you do that. What? Very, Why do your eyes keep going I'm off? What's going on? Have you got that Bob Costas thing? I'm having thing? a problem, yeah. Bob Costas' eyes are really sore. He started off, and now he can't, he can't go on. Are you concerned about Bob Costas? A little bit. I like Bob Costas. He's one of my favorite broadcasters. I always feel he knows what he's talking about, not like some jerks you get on TV. <laughs> yeah, I do like Bob Costas. I'm concerned about his eye. He's got pink eye, you know. A little pink eye. Yeah. Do you ever get pink eye? <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> no, man, I've got blue eye. I think Bob Costas has got blue eyes. I've never seen his eyes up close, of course. I'm not allowed to get within 30 feet of him. Oh, after that, that thing. That thing, yeah, where I, you know, I just really like him a lot. Why do you keep doing that with your I'm eyes? I'm having a serious up. technical problem. <laughs> <laughs> how, could, how could a piece of equipment so as advanced as you... <laughs> so as advanced? So as advanced? I, as, I added an as. Well, Have you yeah. ever added an as by accident, Jeff? Yeah, and then I got pink eye. <laughs> it's on try up, it's been a long, long day, and you got the sandman at the door. But hang on, leave the TV on, and let's do it anyway. It's okay, you can always sleep through work tomorrow. Okay, hey, hey, tomorrow's just your future. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by T Mobile. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. it. <laughs> do you know what I like when I talk, when I wave to the studio audience and I do that? They've now started doing this back to me. <laughs> it's like safe sex. Like you're signaling to one another. It's like we're signaling. It's like I'm going, I see you. And they're like, please go away. <laughs> please come here. No. <laughs> what kind of a day is it? I'll tell you. But it's a great day for America. That's what I like. my new thing. This is my new thing. This is my new thing that I'm doing. This is my new thing that I'm doing. I'm trying to, oh, what do you think? I like it. I yeah, like yeah, it. it's good. Yeah. Do we have any music for that? Hey, maybe I could make the ice dancing at the next Olympics. More of that. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving the Winter Olympics on uh, the, uh, that other network. 
<laughs> it's, I mean, it's really good, you got to admit. Yeah, it's really good. No, it's really good. But it's not the only huge sporting event going on right now. Right now, in New York City, the best are going against the best. The claws are out at the uh, 138th annual Westminster Dog Show. <laughs> They want to put that in at the Olympics. Maybe they did. Maybe that's what happened to Costas' eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Mock Costas. I'm sorry. Sorry, Bob. I'm sorry your eyes are hurty. <laughs> anyway, the Westminster Dog Show. This is the biggest uh, ever. Uh, 3,000 contestants. Manhattan hasn't seen this many blow-dried cockapoos since the Tony Awards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They are at... There's plenty of dog shows, but the Westminster Dog Show is the Oscars of dog shows. The Westminster Dog Show and the Oscars are very different, of course. One is five hours of preening and butt-sniffing. <laughs> and the other one's the Oscars. Anyway, they... Uh... <laughs> Do we do that joke every year? Yeah, 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 yeah we do, yeah. yeah. Uh, the prizes are announced earlier tonight, and I have a special message for the winner of the Westminster Dog Show. <laughs> the highlight of the Westminster Dog Show, of course, is the annual... Mm -mm -mm. We play the clip every year. Uh, play the clip. There you go. Yeah. But the serious Sussex fun-loving... There you go. ...and require a lot... Now, here's the thing. We didn't add those sound effects. The dogs make those noises themselves. You can do it if you want. I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. The, what they do is they squeeze the dogs uh, like that to make sure their testicles are fully descended and to amuse any cats that might be watching. <laughs> the last, uh, last year's winner was named Banana Joe. That's also what they called me when I was an underwear model, Banana Joe. <laughs> Do you have a picture of Banana Joe? That's last year, Banana Joe. See, he's stales like a banana. And uh, very handsome, but that was last year. He's gone nuts, success has gone to his head. You have a picture of him now? Look at that. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. The favorite to win this year is a dog known as Commodore. You have a picture of Commodore? See, I'd love a dog like that. You just, you just, you know, we just roll, I use it as a mop, your floors would be spotless. <laughs> Just put a bit of, you know, detergent on it. Off you go, roll around. And then we could save my vacuum cleaner for when I really need it. <laughs> my special alone time. What does my vacuum cleaner have, Jeff? The proper amount of proper suction. Proper amount of suction. Anyway, this year at Westminster, they're allowing uh, mixed breeds to compete for the first time. Because that was a problem I always had with dog shows. The owners would breed the dogs within families. They would reward in breeding. It's not healthy. It creates weird-looking specimens. It's the same problem I have with the royals. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, it's yeah. like the end breed. Yep. <laughs> now, look, you can teach your dog to do a lot of things. Uh, how to get beer from the fridge, how to guard your house, how to shoot basketballs. But the best thing you can do with a dog is teach it how to talk. This is true. When I was growing up on British television, there was a dog that got very famous for a while because it could say sausages. <laughs> it's true. We have the clip from the, it's, I think it's from the 1970s in Britain. Look at this dog that says sausages. Look at this. <laughs> Tell us what you have on a Thursday, Prince. Yeah, what's your skippy Prince? <laughs> a what? <laughs> See, now that's a dog right there. Yeah, yeah. Sar, 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 sar. <laughs> then a couple of years ago, some enterprising genius taught their dog to say Batman. Do we have a clip of the dog that says Batman? Look at this. Okay. Both dogs are great, but I wonder who would win in a contest if you go put them, to, put them together. I, I think, please don't applaud that. It, you can get. <laughs> you know, oh, look, they had a clip. Uh, <laughs> that was good, though. I like those dogs. Yeah, they're cute. Very adorable. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the Westminster dogs have pretty strict rules. For instance, a bitch can actually lose points for humping a male's leg. It is opposite of the show The Bachelor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Come up there and make sure your testicles are fully descended if you're not careful. <laughs> or maybe that's what you want. <laughs> All right, I'm done. They put me off. I'm not doing any more. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks no, a lot, thanks a lot studio audience. You've put me off. Combative. Oh, I wanted to do more. I had some great ideas for more stuff to say. <laughs> <laughs> About the Westminster Dog Show. I am enjoying the Olympics, though. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. What's your favorite event? The uh, skeleton. Skeleton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Skeleton, yeah. You know, you know why you like it, right? Because they go down on a skeleton. That's yeah, why yeah. you like it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the '80s. A lot of white powder and going down on a skeleton. <laughs> the hell. The hell? I don't know. I don't know. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's enough. What's that? Is you, try, I'm trying to raise the tone of the show. I'm trying I'm to just make it a little about less. Skiing, man. But no, you, don't you start, man. You're going to be a sidekick. You're going to be like, ah, you say oh, your words. You say your oh. words. Hey, everybody, I'm grabbing your nipples. What the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> Did I say that? I didn't grab any... Oh, that thing? Yeah, that thing. Oh, that's not grabbing nipples. Oh, what is it? Two octopuses swimming away? What the hell is that? It's it's cleaning the windows. Okay. Anyway, nipple. If that was grabbing your, your nipples, would be enormous. Sure, sure. If somebody had nipples that size, I'd be like, oh, get... Well, okay, let me go... Like, no. <laughs> oh, let me just... Oh, I don't know if I should... Well, all right, just a little bit. <laughs> Smutty as ever, I guess. Yes, sir. All right, guess to a commercial You're break. watching The Late Late Show. Turn your head and cough, Bob Costas. Westminster Dog Crazy! Wow, oh, wow. Can we add a sound effect for that? <coughs> All right, do it again. I wasn't expecting that one. <coughs> <laughs> it's very good. Thanks. It's like you, you, I'm creating a picture in the mind. Yeah, no, I see it. I see it very It's clear. almost like this show is a bit like radio, except uh, not as good. <laughs> Right, you can see everything. If you close your eyes, the show's a lot better. If you close your eyes, close your eyes right now. <laughs> what? What happened? Nothing. Oh, no, I, I wasn't calling anybody a jerk or anything. No. Cl close your eyes. <laughs> so I was just trying something. <laughs> Do you know who never calls me anymore? Jerry from room service. Oh, is that right? Never calls anymore. <laughs> Uh, hello, room service. Hello, sir. It's uh, Jerry from room service. <laughs> no, this is room service, Jerry. Uh, what did I order? Uh, what would you like? A uh, ham sandwich. Is that a sex thing? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, what is it? What, what do you do with that? Well, you sir? take uh, two pieces of ham. No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make sure it's honey baked. Hold on a second, will you? Can he say that? Can he say that? Oh, he can? You're a racist, man. No, man, you're a racist. No, you're, All I've said is ham. You are a racist! No, you are a filthy uh, uh, person. I wanted to use stronger language, but we're on the air. Are we still? I'm wondering the same thing. Sir. Yeah, all right. Uh, I gotta go. I'm still here, sir. All right. I'm wearing ham, sir. <laughs> All right. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? It's street mail time. Time to take advice from a man who won the gold medal for rhythmic ribbon twirling. <laughs> I'm having problems over here. Yeah. I, I, what's going on? You're you're talking, but your mouth isn't moving, look, and your the eyes. Thing is, you know, you, you you look. All you got to do is you know tell jokes. You don't have to worry about how you move your arms or your head. Do you have? Some... I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> Sometimes my mouth doesn't work and I just talk using my mind. For example, watch this. 
Oh, look, I'm doing it right now. Ah. Oh, what a great day. Cheeky monkeys. Ah. Oh, hey, everybody. It's a great day for America. Oh, hey, good night, everybody. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm doing a little march. Just like the, the old dictators used to do. Look at me. I, oh, hey, and a one, and a two, and a three. And I'm going to go over here now. Oh, look at me. Oh, this is so funny. I feel so free. I feel so alive. Like I've never felt before. I feel like a woman. I'm going to change my name to Craig Ella. This is a big moment for me. What the hell's happening right now? Oh, my God. <laughs> that was amazing. See? That's... <laughs> <laughs> you gonna change your name? <laughs> Here's one. All right. This is from Margo in Denver, Colorado. You ever been there? Yeah, sure, sure. What did you like most about Denver? The rocks. The rocks? Yeah. What, what rocks are we talking about? Get a little bit of a little bit of shale. <laughs> anyway, Margo in Denver says, "Craig, do you like smoothies? I, I don't know. Is it is it a sex thing? Is that a sex thing? A no, smoothie? that's it's a drink. It's like a, a you know healthy drink. Oh, you mean like one of those kale smoothies sure, that he yeah. drinks? Yeah, he drinks kale smoothies because he's an LA douche. Yeah. <laughs> douche. Do you ever, you ever drink the smoothies? Maybe you should have a smoothie that clear up whatever problem you're having right now. Yeah, I think my smoothie involves a little bit more money in the uh, budget. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't mind one of those smoothies either. Yeah, you want one of those? <laughs> Could I have a smoothie too? A little uh, CBS smoothie? <laughs> Is there such a thing, a CBS smoothie? No. <laughs> nah. You ever had a smoothie? What kind of smoothie do you like? A cocaine smoothie? <laughs> Look, uh, let me ask you that question again, but answer me using your mind. Just like I did earlier on. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a smoothie? Yes, I have. <laughs> what you do is you take two pieces of ham. No! No, 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 no. No, no, no. we'll be right back, everybody. Right back. He's an award-winning actor. He's guest starring in Kirsty, which is on February the 19th on TV Land. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jason Alexander! see you, sir. I, I, the last time I saw you was on the Super Bowl commercial yes. only, only about a week ago, and boy, your hair's grown back I fast. I tell you, they're making some creams in China now that just will... Wow! Yeah, fantastic. That's, uh... That's... Uh, I, I travel with this now occasionally. I do stand-up comedy, a show called Jason Alexander, an evening with Jason Alexander and his hair, and so the hair has billing and an agent, and I had to wear it on your show. <laughs> 30 minutes after I it's, see you, it's, it's, it's back it's, on the rack. No, it's, no, yeah. it's, it looks, it's real hair. It's fantastic. It's, it's, I mean, it, it really... It cost a bloody fortune. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna get some. Yeah. Not for my head, I'm good there. Yeah, but there's course. other parts of me. Yeah. I believe they called it a merkin back in the day. They, well, that's only if you use it there. I'm thinking about areas of my body. Maybe really? uh, the chest. Yeah, a chestal yeah. merkin. That's a fine A chestal merkin? Why that's not? what they're called? Sure. <laughs> I thought that was a country singer. <laughs> Come on, folks, listen to the sounds of Chester Merkin. Merkin. Uh, hey, uh, it was that, uh, uh, that was an English accent you were using there. And that bit, bit no, it was actually yeah. very good. I was like, it's what? I've studied, you know, not just a... Have, you, have you been to England then? I have. Right. Yeah. 
Lovely, lovely. Which, which, which part? Uh, I've been in London. I've been, well, I've been in London and its environs. Oh, yes. But you know, when you're, when you're trained for the classical theatre, yeah. you have to learn a variety of English accents. Do you know, I like when English people are so posh that they say ears instead of yes. When they go, ears. <laughs> Would you like a sandwich? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I like it. Yeah. I'll adopt it from it sandwich. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. So, did you... you tri what, the first time I saw you, you were on Broadway, actually. You were doing uh, Jerome Kern's Broadway. What a... Jerome who? J Jerome, uh, not Jerome Kern, Jerome Robbins' Broadway. Thank yeah, you, you know, not you. Jerome yes, Kern. That's, that's a completely different show. Yes, well, you and I have a yeah. huge, uh, huge background together. We're both wonderful trained classic... No, I'm not trained classically. Oh, I, no. come now, come. No. I hear you have a huge dance background, as we can all avail ourselves. <laughs> I did for a short time. I did for a short time. Yes. I actually danced with a modern dance theater group in off 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 Broadway. I, I was a, I, I was a stripper, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, was say. <laughs> I was gonna say. Did you ever do that? Uh, uh, strip? No, I've never stripped. Uh, I have worked nude, but I've never stripped. Really? When did you work nude? I worked nude in a uh, motion picture called Love, Valor, Compassion. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I, I worked nude there. I've worked. Did you? Uh, did you? Were you actually on the set with Full Business Out? Uh, I, I, w I had, uh, and really more for the protection of the audience than myself, I had a, uh, I wore a flowery hat, high heels, and an apron, but my... That's not really nude, that's vacuuming. No, no let me yeah. tell you. <laughs> yeah, and my, uh, and it was outside, and the, and the apron would sort of flap in the breeze. And okay. It was fantastic. Yeah, it's a, that's, a, that's yeah. brave. Yeah. That's, a, that's a brave actor indeed who yeah. goes his junk. Yeah. That's what they say at RADA. It is a brave actor Until indeed who shows, shows his junk. junk. Yeah. 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 So, uh, you went to uh, London. Went what to you, London, yeah. Went to London. I travel a lot. Do you really? Yeah, I do a lot, actually, now. Because with the stand-up comedy thing, I did a uh, Canadian tour, uh, U.S., uh, Australia. I do some work in the Middle East, so I'm in the Middle East from now. Really? Uh, from again. Yep. I'm part of the solution, by gosh. Wow, that's... <laughs> Have you ever... Have you got it all coming together. Can't you see how well it's working? It's... Well, you're doing okay, man. Your hair grew back after the Super Bowl. That's good. That Seinfeld commercial was good, man. Did you think so? Yeah, yeah, I liked, yeah, it. I liked it. It was yeah. like a very short episode of Seinfeld. I was like, I wish it was longer. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I wish I was making the kind of money I made on Seinfeld. Oh, man. Those were the days. Uh, yeah. Those... It was... Um, it, I guess it was an ad. I think that's what it was for Jerry's uh, a cable series. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. A web series, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he looks all right. He looks like he He's moisturizes a bit. He's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, keeping it together. Yeah. Yeah. You guys still friends? You all still friends? Absolutely. Really? Why not? I don't know. I just like... something? I, no, I like to interject that because, <laughs> has, you know... Has he been uh, smack-talking me? No, uh, not at all. No. 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 Jerry no, Seinfeld doesn't we talk to me. We don't see each other that often. He's New York-based. I'm here. Uh, right. Julia is often with Veep. She's in, like, Baltimore or D.C. Right, yeah, yeah. So She's been here quite a lot. Yeah. So that, we don't, we don't that woman can wear a dress. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. 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 She's great naked, too, but I'd love to Fantastic. See. You know, I'd love to see her in a little apron and a hat yep. doing the vacuuming. Yeah. That's a little dream of mine, I have to tell you. No, that's good. So, uh, you're on Kirsty's show, though. Yeah, did an yeah. episode of Kirsty uh, next week. It'll be on next week. Yeah. Oh, it's on next week. Yeah. So it's not live like this? No. Oh, no. Yeah. no. What about going back and doing some more musical theatre? You were very good in that show. You're very I sweet. Uh, I, we, uh, I'm looking at a project for Broadway uh, for the fall. Uh, very hard to get a theatre in New York right now. Is it really? Oh, my God. Well, they People are making shows left and right. Really? And there's only, you know, I, what, how many Broadway theatres are there? 30, 35? I, I, don't, I have no uh, idea. You're asking the wrong very guy. Hard, yeah, that... Very hard to get a theatre. A lot of big stars coming in doing shows. and. Uh, well, those bastards. Come on. Move on. Give someone else a turn. That's what That's I what say. I say. Really, yeah. Uh, there's no Go reason Hugh Jackman should do a Broadway show. Is he doing another one? He is. He's What's coming he? in with something. Is he, what, is he singing again? I would imagine. Uh, he was supposed to do Houdini the musical. He's not oh. doing that anymore. I don't see that as a. I'd like. Yeah. I'd like to see him do Wolf. Uh, Wolfman the musical. You know Wolfman they, the yeah, musical. Yeah. Not Wolverine. Not Wolverine. Wolfman. Wolfman yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because I'd like him to do that kind of thing. Like, oh, it's the moonlight. <laughs> I've got, and then you know, put on the thing and I'm yeah. a wolf. Uh, 
What about that? There's an idea for a uh, uh, musical just, right there. I'm calling Sondheim the minute I leave this show. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great idea. It's fantastic. What about Dracula the musical? Have they done that? Uh, I think they've done it off Broadway. There is a Dracula musical. Mm. Not, you know, Dracula loses a lot of his macho when he starts singing. It's what. It's, well, I don't know. That Phantom of the Opera thing worked out. And he, I'll, although, I'll, to be I'll fair. I'll use that as a, as yeah, a second. No, I have to say, that, 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 I mean, I'm a fan of musical theater, yeah. but see that show? When I went to see that, I'm like, it's the Didn't same damn tune for three hours. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. It's the music of the night, is it? Do you know that it takes more time for the guy playing the Phantom to get into the makeup than the amount of time he spends on the stage? Oh. And we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a thankless role. I know a lot of guys that have played the Phantom. It's thankless. Would you ever do it? Uh, in a heartbeat. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the world is waiting. Yeah, you know. no, I quite like Slowly, to see. Slowly, gently. Yes, Whoa, I think here. everybody's waiting. Wow, you got me going there. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> if you do Christine, I will do the Phantom, and we will rock that place. That would be actually great. I, 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 people would go and see that. <laughs> you be, yeah. <laughs> and the first people there would be reviewers. Yeah. They would be like, ah. I was gonna say, it would get some ink. Yes, it would. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got any ink? I've got some ink. I've got, uh, you have tats? Oh, yeah. I do not understand that phenomenon. I don't get it. There's only three reasons I know people do it. It's either they're drunk, they're stupid, or they're drunk and stupid. Other than that, I don't... <laughs> Uh, I don't get it. I don't understand the whole well, phenomenon. it's not for you. I don't. All. But it's, where, what do you have? Where is it? I got some stuff here. Yeah, and, stuff and on the here. arm. Yeah, and then I've got, you know, the... I saw, I saw a guy sent me a photograph. He did a, 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 a tattoo of me as George on, on some part of his body I cannot identify. Well, that I don't get. And, that, that I don't and get. And I don't know how it's going to morph over time, I, you know. And I Will see, it grow hair? Will, will the hair, hair come off? I don't how, know. how low to the ground? Yeah. We'll be right back with Jason Alexander. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. I'm here with Jason Alexander, who uh, was just telling me he's about to get a tattoo. Uh, what are you going to get? Yeah, I thought I'd get a little butterfly. On the on the base of your spine. Yeah, a little tramp stamp. I a little tramp be, stamp. Yeah. That'd be nice. Would you? You'd never I mean, get. I don't it. get it. I, you know, if I was ever going to do the tattoo sleeve, it would be things that are meaningful later for me in life. So I'd get like, you know, my online passwords, my list of <laughs> prescription medications, that's something a, like that's that. That's a good I, idea. That's a good. Well, you can have all you that. You got to think ahead because. Uh, well, you see, now people always say that about tattoos. They're like, you know, oh, it's going to look crap when you're 70. I'm right. Like, yeah. well, I, and I'm going to look great. It's going to fit in with everything else. <laughs> it's just going to age with me. Yeah, I sure it will. I don't mind. Is that, what, what is that on your wrist? That is actually, it's uh, the cartoon that uh, Benjamin Franklin did. Is uh -huh. it Benjamin Franklin? Oh, join or die, yeah. Is it Benjamin Franklin? I can't remember That's now. That's fantastic. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> In the Pennsylvania Gazette, 1754. And at the moment that you did that, you're thinking, I need to do this because... I've just become an American citizen. Right. That's why, you uh -huh. see? Because it was, a, it was significant <laughs> for me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah. You, got, you got nothing but American citizens. Yeah, no yeah. one has that. Yeah, yeah. Not no, one no. Let that. me just say for a minute. Yeah. Now, contrary to popular belief, Jason is not a member of Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Just because I said I was working in the Middle East. No, no, no pigeon. Well, well you, where have you been in the Middle East? Uh, I go to Israel fairly often. I work with a group called One Voice that's working with the uh, Israelis and Palestinians and trying to create a two-state solution and give everybody wow. uh, what they should have had a long time ago. That's a, that's a tricky, tricky argument to get involved in. That's fair play to you. It's, uh, play to you. It's, a, it's a tough part of the world. And you know what? The, some of the most fantastic people I've met on both sides of that, that dilemma. And I have to say, I, whenever I go to the Middle East, which has not been that often, I've been maybe half a dozen times, I'm always amazed by how friendly the people are. I always they're expect fantastic. to get a hard time, and everyone's no, lovely. You know, as an American Jew, I remember walking into Ramallah to do some work the first time, as an American yeah. Jew, going, just uh, don't cover me, cover me. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And the first little shopkeeper went, George, George! <laughs> and they just, they were fantastic. And I've met people that, you know, just have gone through unbelievable yeah, hardship. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's uh, terrible. It, 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 the crazy thing is the, the solution is not that elusive. It's just the hearts and minds that have to get behind it and support it. Mm -hmm. But as we, as we get generations further, I think, you know, the, I, I get very encouraged by the young people I meet over there. I think they, they've got their eye on them. Are you saying that you believe children are the future? Uh, <laughs> yeah, give them time and let yeah, them Yeah, yeah, get in a sec. Jason Show Alexander, more. everybody.
Gaskin is a very beautiful and talented actress. She stars in About Last Night, which is in theaters on Friday. Take a look at this. <laughs> Regina Hall! the hardest I've worked to get like on a man's couch. Well, this is, you don't have to work hard to get out here. You can come out here anytime you like. I wanted to meet you and come on your show. Well, you uh, welcome. You look sensational. Thank you. I like your net uh, up here. Is that in case anything? It's a... <laughs> it's, anything it's, escapes? No, it's mesh. It's an illusion. Mesh. It's it's an illusion? Mm -hmm. It's an illusion. It's, it is. Do uh, you know what, you know, <laughs> you know what you were doing earlier when you were talking about the dogs and the testicles? Y yes. Do you know that I, you, I often you rub my dog's testicles because in cultures, that's actually soothing. I've gone to funerals. I went to a West Indian funeral, and I said, what are you doing there? And they said, this is to relax the baby. I must confess, I, I do feel a little tense. <laughs> uh, it relaxes your dog if you... Uh... It, well, I had to remove them when he got like a year old and I was really upset because I had gotten attached. Because, you know... No, 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 no. Really. Not as much as no, the dog, no. I'm sure. <laughs> But when they start off, it's smooth, and then it's like two little green peas, and then one day, they drop, and you're just like, my dog's got balls, and you kind of get... What's that thing that you do to... You know that thing that... You, it's a toy that you buy. No, it's a toy that you buy. It's like they're, they're those... They're... I don't know. I'll buy it. Oh, I'll no. buy it. No, they're... If you sell that, I'll buy it. You, you want to do it now? <laughs> No, but it's the sir. It's like they're so they make a noise. They always have them, and you do. I'll like make that. a noise. I, <laughs> could she do that? Could she, yeah, she could do all that because we were actually talking about dogs, of course. <laughs> well, so hi. <laughs> do you do that in the movie? I don't do it in the movie. All oh, right, because you know Kevin Hart's getting a lot of good things happening to him right now. I wondered uh, if that was maybe in the movie too. You, no, but he did. He did some things in the movie. You, you guys do some scenes in the movie? We have a lot of raunchy scenes. Are you, you're cool with this? Yes. Because <laughs> I haven't seen Kevin Hart for about two years, but I know he's cool with it. Yeah. No, we had fun. Like, he just, we had some stuff. I do, I saw Jason Alexander. He does, like, yoga. It was his legs yeah, yeah, his legs were tucked but underneath I him like take, a, you know. A... Like a thing, but I take my leg in the movie, and I, can, I, I, can, I can't do it in the dress, but I can put it behind my head because I'm a yogi. You do a lot of yoga? I do. You do the hot yoga? I don't. I do Ashtanga yoga. Ashtanga yoga. That's like power yoga, right? It's powerful, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you do... But, so you could, yeah. Do you do it in, in classes in L.A. and drink kale and go to... I heard you talking about... I do... I'm a, what am I? A lame L.A.? What would you call it? No, I think... L.A. douche! No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> with the... With the... With no. the kale shake. Not you! Him! Oh. Him! <laughs> He's an L.A. douche. That's him. You're okay. wonderful. Okay. And, and by the way, you can do that to my leg again anytime. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. So the, w the movie's actually based on a uh, play, right? It's based on... It's sexual Perversity in Chicago. Dick right. I, I know that play. I, I, did you... Oh, yeah, you... everybody used to do that play all the time okay. in New York. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Did you... Had you seen the play before? I hadn't seen the play, but I read the play. All right, okay. When and then you, the then you did the movie. And the movie's like, you know... It... There's no sex... I don't remember many sex scenes in the play. Well, you know, they probably adapt. Yeah, no, they just uh, add them in. Yeah. But there's, there's a lot of, there's some stuff in the There's place. raunch, yeah, I guess. There's there's raunch. A and a woman of... wrote this, which is like showing you where women are. We've progressed now. We can be wrong. Well, women wrote the screenplay paper. to the movie. Yes. Yeah, because David Mamet wrote the play. Yeah, David Mamet. Unless you know something about David Mamet, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I yeah. don't. I love David Mamet, though. He's pretty amazing. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not without Did, talent, let's be honest. He's, no, he's yeah, not. Yeah. Did you watch the original movie? Now, uh, the, see the play, you mean? No, the, the, the uh, About Last Night. Because About Last Night, this is a remake of an original one. Oh, really? In 1986 with Rob Lowe, Demi Moore, and Jim Belushi. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. No, I never saw that. Are you going to see this one? I never saw any movies in the But 80s. are you going to see this one? Yeah, I'm going to see that. I'm, yes, of course I'm going to see this one. I'm going to see it 
soon. <laughs> like, so is he. He's I, hiding. Yeah, yeah, no, he's going to see it. We're going to go after the show. We're going to go on a date. Uh, it's not open, though. It's... Yeah, not after this show. After <laughs> a show <laughs> okay. that we'll do next week. Yeah. It starts on Friday, right? It does. It starts you, Friday. Will you go to the movie theater to see it? Like no. to see other people in the I movie. I can't watch myself. Oh, TV. come on. I know, it's so lame to say, but no, I... No, no, it, it's all right. I mean, I, I'm happy to watch it, but I understand because, like, I never watch me, but... Do you never watch you? No. So you've not... So you don't know what you do? <laughs> no. Uh, no, I don't really know what I'm doing. I thought, I thought that was pretty evident, actually, from the moment I came out. I don't really know what I'm... I try not to think about it too much. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, like, do you prepare? Do you do a lot of... I mean, I do some sort of preparation. I got lines Well, you've got stuff to remember yeah. and other people and stuff. But you have stuff. people who do stuff, and you don't you? Don't you have, like... Don't they give you information to go over? Yeah, yeah, I tear it up and throw it away every time somebody comes out. No, I, I kind of, you know, yeah. most people uh, who are coming out here, I, I know who they are and right. I know what they're doing and I've yeah. seen a bit of their movie yeah. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So you don't need that much? Nah. Just I Google like them. <laughs> Do you, you ever Google yourself? I have Googled, I've Googled myself and so much of it is a lie. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. Like one, it has my height wrong, it's got my age wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, well, you know, lies do occur yeah. on the internet from time to it time. It even got my sexuality wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about that. No, it does. It well, does. It, what does it say about your sexuality it's on the internet? A, it, well, it says, I mean, I, if I was, I would admit it, but it says I'm a, I'm a lesbian. Mm, mm. Let's just sit with that for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Which is cool if you are. But it, no, it's totally cool. I would say it. Yeah, of course, I understand. But I've, we oh, know man, that I'm not. Oh, man, don't do that again. I'm just... <laughs> and I'm ambidextrous. Wow, look at that. So I can do each hand. So if when you were doing that with your dog, he must have been standing with his legs very far <laughs> apart at the time. <laughs> <laughs> He, 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 it was very soothing. And you know, I, yes, it when, is, I, I imagine. No, because when they're puppies, they're hyper. If you guys want to try it, if you have any puppies. Yeah, if anybody wants to try it. <laughs> I, I, I'm sometimes a bit hyper. <laughs> <laughs> Someone calm me down right away. <laughs> All right, you want to throw to a commercial break? Oh, my goodness. Oh, go on then. Okay. All right. Um, we've got a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd your eyes keep going off? I swear I'm not doing that on purpose. You said that with your mind. I'm reading your mind, Craig. I'm in your head. Can you calm me down? Does that feel better? Why, yes, it does. Good night, everybody.